So, kia ora folks, Rasta Bushman here. Now you're probably wondering, what happened to the bed? Well, I'll show you a little clip and we'll have a look. Let's have a look. My companion for years and years. It's part of the TA, like tradition. It's going off. So we're going to whack it off and... Um... It's, it's a lot of things, okay? I don't really want to shave, okay? As you folks might know, I'm a Rastafarian, okay? There's a, a whole lot of things that incorporate Rastafari and what we, what I and I, people such as Rastafari people call ourselves, I and I, our liberty, our way of life. Not a lifestyle, but a way of life. One of them is the beard. Now, the reason why I shaved my beard off was because, you know, Kia is a fresh start for me. It was also a way to show to when I was at my previous job, okay, to show people, you know, besides I'm looking young and looking different, it's a fresh start. You know, te all that's what it represents to me, a fresh start, a new challenge, something to expand my outdoor skills and bushcraft life. And as you folks know that I've been struggling with a lot of things as of lately, not financial or anything like that, but, you know, just basically my direction of life. Where is it going to? Where it's not going to? So we can... Yeah, it's turning it down. Just had to change the exposure for a second. Okay, so the reason why I shaved my beard, as I said, there's a lot of reasons. So my direction of life, I don't like it. You know, stuck in a job five years, you didn't really get anywhere. You know, no misses, nothing like that. It's really depressing, though. Like, it's, it's a really depressing life. I'm just being real with you. And, like, why I want to do the Te Aroa Trail. A lot of people have their agendas. I'm just going to be brutally honest. You know, if they have their own agendas, cater pie, that's fine. Their own things or gimmick or whatever they want to do. A long-distance hike, a through hike, a thorough tramp, long-distance tramping, long-distance walking self-powered travel over months and months uh, at a time per year. The reason why I'm doing Te Aroa Trail is it's something totally different. You know, it's a different culture. They have different lingo. It's different. It's just a change. And it's not because I'm trying to figure out, you know, who am I and all that. I know who I am. I'm Rasta Bushman. I'm a Rasta Farian, But I'm also Māori, you know. I'm, I'm a very unique split cultural heritage you could say because of my Māori upbringing but also because of my Rastafari faith my my liberty the way I am there's a multitude of reasons why and you know as I said in my previous video a couple months back why I'm doing the trail it's very depressing out there you know it's like, it's not my outlook in life. My outlook in life is better, way better. It's just this trail could show me a different opportunities, you know, different people. It's just different. Everything's different. I mean, I know a lot of people have their own personal reasons and agendas, as I said, and point of views or gimmicks or whatever they want to do, a through hike or a long tramp. Mine is multitude of reasons, you know, for my people, my Māori people, for Rastafari people, for my Rasta brothers and sisters, for those other Rastas who haven't done a long distance tramp through hike, for other trampers. I want to do this for other trampers. Like why I'm making my documentary, Project Distant Shores, that's our current title name. There are multitude of reasons why, you know, my life direction, I don't like it. Ever since I lost weight, I just found working in my job just so way much boring. It was just getting, I was just getting too depressed, you know, it wasn't fast enough, I didn't like that. It was too slow. Now, I'm not saying that people change and all that, you know, I, I'm going to say this from a Rastafari point of view straight up. People don't change. Your environment around you changes. And to me, that's true. If it's different to you, you know, cake to pie, that's fine. 
But as I've said, the beard represented a lot to me. Not because of my Rastafari way of life or a bush bashing way of life. You know, Bushmen were quite rugged people. You know, Kiwi outdoors people are rugged people. Even the Sheilas, even the females, they're quite rugged people because it takes a certain rugged person to deal with rugged bush, you know. <laughs> or rugged outdoors, you know. New Zealand's quite rugged. <laughs> I'm just going to be brutal. and It's like our culture, it's quite rugged you know everything's rugged rough hundy whatever you want to call it it's very unique but the beard represented to me an an old ras you know it represented an older ras the bushman it didn't represent and it's not saying anything to do with evolution it's just my mindset started to change you know i started thinking differently and as I said, when I lost weight, my energy was way higher, but I could not utilize it at my job or what I was doing, my activities back then. And I was doing different hobbies to fill in time, but it's just I had too much energy. There was way much more to see there out life. And there's way more things you can do with your life than just working, go home, eat, sleep, rinse, repeat. I do understand you have families. You have other commitments, that's KT Pi, but for me personally, I don't really have those things. So for me, to find new opportunities and life in general, other types of life, you know, whether it's the bush or insects or animals or people, there's a whole, this whole culture of long distance tramping, a thorough tramp through hiking. It attracts those type of people, even, you know, people such as myself, you know, as Rasta Bushman, I'm very out there, it attracts very out there people, and we all have our reasons why we want to do a through hike. And mine is a sort of a combination of everything, you know. I'm doing this for other people, I'm doing this partly for myself, I'm doing this for my cultural heritage, I'm doing this for my ethnic heritage. I'm doing this for my family. I'm doing this for my work colleague, my former work colleagues. I'm doing this for a lot of reasons why. Other trampers. There's a combination of things that I don't think people would understand. Why would Ras change from Bushcraft Channel? He seems okay to boom. He's doing a through hike now. It because as I said, it's totally different format, totally different mix up. And those are some of the reasons why. So yeah, the beard. I know it's going to take quite a while for you guys to get used to this. I'm going to keep this trimmed until I start the trail. Um, but yeah, that's, that's basically the reasons why I shaved my beard. As a lot of my subscribers know, they've been quite familiar with the beard or the mutton stash or the mutton chops. Or I might bring those back down the trail. Um, I'll probably die and become like what they say. Tramper trash, hiker trash. I'll probably become like that anyway of got some ideas along the way also just realize there's more to life i'm not going to say anything like a lot of quote hipsters say because you know i don't like hipsters i'm just gonna be honest but in a sense i'm going to say this and i'm not going to say yolo okay i'm not saying that but in a sense something to that there's more to this life than what you are doing now and I believe it's my time to do more with not my own life but with life in general what's out there not the world but in my own backyard you know there's so much things in New Zealand that I haven't seen I've ticky toured around the country in the last couple of years I started when I was 20 I've done a massive ticky tour all around the North Island um, I've been to so many places a lot of places along the trail I've actually been to before I've even done the trail so um and before the, even the trail existed so yeah i've been through a lot of places in this country and i want to see more life in new zealand so i want to discover more of you know my background my backyard what my ancestors would have had to you know walk through what it was different and what it was like back then. besides myself you know i'm doing this for others jumping back and seeing the culture and the trail angels, the people, I'm just, I'm looking forward to it. So as I, you know, record this video, folks, we're only 11 to 12 days away. Not really long, so 
yeah, I just I thought I'd make this a short, kind of brief, 20 minute ish video. Me rambling on and on about reasons why I shaved my beard. It represents a new start, folks. Tiago Trail 2018, 2019 represents a whole lot to me, and I feel there's a lot of weight on my shoulders, but I have the mana, the, the power, the prestige. I'm happy to carry that burden on my shoulders and to push it through. Um, future after TA, I don't know. All I know is if I catch this long distance bug, I probably want to do something else like this again. Still going to do bushcraft stuff all along the trail, as I've said. I've got some things lined up for the channel, okay? You know, native plant ID, um, some bushcraft camp building, all that stuff. That's all going to be at all live along the trail. I'll still be uploading along the trail. So yeah, that's basically it. My video about why I shaved the bed and what it represents to me. Not just as a Rastafarian, but as Rasta Bushman itself. Okay, thank you folks for watching. I know it's been a slightly long 20 minute-ish video. I'll try to edit it down a bit. But I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts and my true inner, my man feelings <laughs> about the bed, you know. Um, it represented a lot, it still represents a lot to me. Not just as a Rastafarian, but as Rasta Bushman. It represents a lot. So thank you folks for watching. Bless your trails. Kaki te anō. And I shall see you shortly. TA 2018-2019. 11 days to go. Looking forward to it. Thank you folks for watching. See you later.